Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy with Sickle Bros. And as you can see, I am here in Quinn's classroom. Anytime I am here, we are doing something really big. And today we are getting a brand new six foot custom aquarium and we need to put it on that stand over there. Move some tanks around. Quinn's getting some stuff ready in the background there. Can't wait to get to it, so let's dive right in. In the previous episodes on the classroom fish room, Quinn found out that he had to move to a brand new classroom this year which was both good and bad. It was great that he was getting a massive upgrade in rooms, but bad that we had to move seven large aquariums. In preparation, Quinn had built two large DIY stands, and then we transferred all the aquariums over in a marathon day of moving tanks. What? I don't know if I can do it. We got it. <sighs> this makes you question, how dedicated to the hobby are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Quinn's dressing. <laughs> that was about a month ago, and today we are getting Quinn's largest aquarium yet for the fish room, a brand new custom aquarium. As you may have seen from the previous update on the classroom, we put all six of these aquariums on these two 12-foot DIY stands, and the fish room has expanded. It looks great, but today we're doing a bigger and better upgrade. Another one. So. The current look at his classroom, he has a 55 gallon there that he has to set up still. Some cool plans coming for that. We have the 110 gallon custom aquarium here. The huge Severum, this is a mouth brooding Severum. Beautiful red eye there. And four pretty big silver dollars. So this tank has some room for some new stocking to come. Next to that is a 75 gallon Mbuna tank that's really looking good. Some yellow labs, some yellow tail ACI, some Johani. Just a really good school of Mbuna there. The 29 gallon here has always been kind of a holding tank. So it has a couple rasboras, neon tetras, and some Amano shrimp. But quite a bit is gonna be changing with this tank and the Abuna tank because we are putting the big new six foot aquarium right here. And we're moving these two aquariums to the lab tables over here on the ends. So Quinn's going to be expanding in total tanks and tank sizes. This is going to be an entire 12 foot stand of custom aquariums because we have this one and then the new six foot tank there. So it's going to be awesome. We've got our YouTube plaque and sickle bro sign there. And then over here we have a 90 gallon tank with aqua decor background. It has a green tear. You can't really see because of the glare right now. But the tank's looking pretty good. It has a couple of convicts and Jack Dempsey's in there. And this tank, this is 75 gallon. And again, we got a hider. The Jack Dempsey is back in the right corner. This is Jack Jr. He is a beautiful Jack Dempsey, but right now he is hiding from the camera, probably because we just turned on the classroom lights. And then this is the 90 gallon. This is the yellow jacket cichlid. And this is Quinn's best looking fish in my opinion. An absolute monster with great color. You can see his teeth poking out. Just absolutely stunning fish. And he's probably the most interactive as well. And he's right here next to Quinn's desk. All right, Quinn, are you ready for this? Not really, but let's do it. So we have a six foot tank that is coming. And a little bit of a background on that tank is we've had some tank Tetris going on. Originally it was supposed to go in my basement, but then I built a 500 gallon plywood aquarium. Then it was gonna go in Alex's basement, but he had a basement flood. And then Quinn changed classrooms, so it opened up the door for possibilities with the tank. Yeah, you know, whenever I moved classrooms and it was a day of a lot of hard work, we finally got all the aquariums set up in my new classroom on my two 12 foot stands. A Couple weeks later I thought, what a great idea. Let's move everything again and get a whole new aquarium that's my biggest aquarium yet. So it's going to be a lot of work once again, but I think the payoff will be worth it. Anytime we're breaking out the suction cups, we know something's happening here. I've had enough suction cups for the last month. <laughs> we are waiting for the new tank to arrive shortly. So Quinn, what are we doing? We're going to drain the 29 gallon and we're going to suction cup, move it over to the back wall on the lab table and then that'll give us some room to then drain the 75 gallon, suction cup that, move it also to the back wall. So then the six footer will be right here, ready to go. And that's the other side that Quinn's talking about. So the fish room is expanding yet again. Yet again.
Okay, got the 29 in place. Next up, we are draining the Mbuno tank. And I think we're gonna have to take out a lot of the rocks in here and maybe catch the Mbuno. We will see. Might try to do it with the Mbuno in there. Okay, we got 75 gallon drained. We're ready to move it. Do this all by myself? <laughs> this one's all you. Okay, so with the tanks moved and that space now open, here is the six foot custom aquarium. Like I said, it is hard to explain why it is being shipped this way. Actually, our parents brought it from Alex's house about four hours away to Quinn's school because Quinn now has the best space for this tank. So it's gonna look awesome in his classroom, but we have to get it in there now. So let's go. And over here we have the 75 gallon now set up again and running with the Mbuna in there. And then we have the 29 gallon running as well. So these are on the other side of the classroom now, aside from two big custom aquariums and the three other big aquariums there. Oh, can't even forget the 55. So many tanks in here, can't keep them straight. So the new tank is in place. This is a six foot by 18 front to back, I believe, and roughly 23, 24 inches tall. So it's 135 gallons. It is right next to Quinn's 110. So he has 11 feet of custom aquariums all on this stand. All right, Quinn, where are we at? All right, so another long day spent in the classroom. I'm telling you, I am tired of moving aquariums. I am done. This is all we got. I'm done moving aquariums, I promise you. I, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what am I gonna do with this aquarium? I already have a whole host of ideas growing in my mind, but I want you to convince me what I should do in this huge six foot custom aquarium. So definitely leave those thoughts in the comment section and I'm hoping to get this set up pretty soon. So definitely wanna stay tuned for that. Once again, thanks again for watching. Take care, we'll see you next time.